Hey guys, David here. We got Jonathan, and today we're gonna do our first rig walkthrough. Today we're gonna talk about Jonathan's rig. So Jonathan, tell us about your rig. What, what are we looking at here? So today we have here my 1993 Toyota 400. Okay. Um, I've had it for about four years. Um, Taking in a, a lot of adventures, uh, put a lot of work into it. And so far, she's been doing pretty good. Does she have a name? No, sadly. Wow. But y'all can wow. check me out on Instagram, Foreigner Adventure. Never heard of it, that guy. No. Never. Okay, well, anyways. <laughs> okay, so tell us, is your uh, daily driver? What's, uh, is this like your weekend rig or something? Uh, uh, my daily driver is what I take to work, from work to home, uh, hang out with friends. On trips, road trips, dates. Dates? Dates. This guy's single, so ladies. Jonathan. Look into my eyes. Uh, let's get to the truck. Okay, so have you done any uh, suspension upgrades on it? Is this like, what, what do we got here? Okay, since I got in the truck, I mainly, when I got it, it came stock. I kept it all the way on. Except for the bumpers, front and rear, and the rock sidings. Yep. I got, um, I went with four wheel parts. They got these from Tro here. The only suspension upgrade I guess I've done would be the tires. Uh, I went from 31s to 32s and I passed up the wheels, which they've been holding up pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, they have because I mean, he's, I've seen, I've been on many of the trips that he's on and yeah, this uh, truck takes a beating. Passenger, passenger, passenger. That plastic dip is holding pretty well. What else? Uh, any engine upgrades? What's what? What do you? What motor does this Forerunner have? So this Forerunner came with the 3.0, an engine that very notorious. Yeah, known for head, known head gaskets. Okay. Uh, which I blew at I believe I'm gonna say that around 130,000 miles. Yeah. Um, and since then, I I rebuilt. Well, I didn't rebuild the engine, but I redid the head gaskets, got the head resurfaced. And uh, the previous owner, I believe, did some some sort of emissions delete. And he also installed a K&N air intake filter. And other than that, it's pretty much stock engine. What's stock the suspension. what's the uh, MPGs you get on this thing on the, in the city around? Okay, well, when I used to have the automatic transmission, I was averaging about 170 miles per tank. Now I'm getting about 240 city and just because of the automatic and manual yeah, swap? Yeah, automatic and manual swap. So tell me about the manual swap. So you took out the whole transmission? Yeah, what? so what happened was uh, my transmission wasn't getting the gears, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, reverse wouldn't kick in for like a few seconds. And it would slip, shifting gears. And uh, one of my friends found a manual transmission at a local pick and pull. Yeah. And I had read online that the swap was possible, so I was like, you know what, let's just try it out. I went in and got everything, uh, pedal assembly, transmission, shifters, uh, for about 170. Yeah. And we did over a weekend, I found a, a manual online on how to do it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's pretty smooth. Wow. It is. It is. Tell me about the EDD uh, lead. What, what, are, what is that? Okay, so this, this truck, the 4x4 system, it came with a automatic disconnect differential, yeah. which is what the ADD stands for. But when I got the truck, the 4x4 wasn't working, and I believe I had to do something with the admission to the, that the previous owner did, that he disconnected some back and hoses. Mm -hmm. So when I did the manual swap, um, I did the ADD to the, basically what I did was, I removed the front actuator from the differential, yeah. uh, locked the differential in place, put the, put the, the actuator back in, and then I got some locking hubs off of the hubs are for so that you won't have any drag since you have your 4 4 lock yes yeah. and since then it's been really good cool. first thing. Oh, there's a lot okay Jonathan um, anything uh, you got going in here what's what do you what's going on in your interior um, I pretty much have kept it stock just installed an aftermarket radio okay a CB antenna 
This yeah. cool shifter that I got from Low Range Off Road. It's pretty sweet. Does it actually lock? Yeah, it actually does. And see, I love that you have a sunroof. Yeah, that's that, awesome. That is really cool. Uh, wow, bare bones. I mean, classic 90s. Nothing much going here, but pretty nice. Copy this from the Nomad. Uh, David's. You can copy that. You can copy that. You got AC going in here? Yeah. Don't use it much. Put the windows down. But... Really? It's like 100 degrees here. Yeah, I know. That's okay. All right. Well, clean interior. Definitely uh, reminds you a lot of my truck. But I'm not going to talk about my truck. So let's get to the trunk of the truck. Let's go. All right, so Jonathan, explain to us uh, what you got going on here. Right, so this is pretty much my capping setup. Um, seats down. As I mentioned before, I don't bring my system when I go out on my adventures. But when I go out camping, mostly. Um, yeah, so seats down. I throw in the seat bag. It's pretty comfortable. I always bring this with me, which is my Bluetooth radio. Um, also good for charging your phone. Just having music anywhere you go. Okay. How much? Uh, how much can this charge? A phone or what? Uh, this actually charges my phone up pretty fast. Really? You can probably charge two phones. Uh, the battery life on this, I believe, is ten hours. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty cool, man. I dig it. So Jonathan, I really dig it. Like, I guess the best part about the setup is like next morning if you're too lazy to pack up, just yeah. throw everything back in to the tailgate and take off. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Every single time we go on a trip, like we're all setting up our tents and everything, it takes like 10 minutes. This guy's already like eating because he just opens this up and it's good to go. This is like really cool, cool way to do it. All right, so tell me about this LED strip, man. What's or uh, this this wasn't on the truck, obviously. No, this uh, this I wired up to the main light in the back. Okay. Um, I bought this at Academy for 15 bucks. It's uh, really, I guess, convenient. So it lights up inside and like probably like five feet out inside the truck. Is this like a waterproof? Yeah, this is, this is for kayak. Kayak. So okay. they're waterproof. Yeah. I drove the. It came with like two little slots to drill into it. Yeah. And then with three amp tape. Nice. Damn tape really it's hard to see on camera and it's daylight, but th that thing's pretty bright. Um, cool. So you got your penny board. Yeah. So what's uh what's in this box, man? So in the box, pretty much, is just uh, my tools and my recovery gear, extra parts in case my truck or any of our friends at 3.0 on our trip break down. You got like spare parts and stuff. Yeah, spare parts, hoses, um, bolts. Cool, man. Cool. So you got a. Uh, what's up with that? What's up with that net up there? So that net. Um, I had met another member from the group or in Toro. Yeah. Who uh, owns a second gen as well. And I noticed he had this net set up in the inside of the drummer that he said he got from. Uh, I guess I would say an ATV or a four wheeler cargo net. And it hooked up pretty well to the handles and the seat belts. Nice. And I just had it up there to play. Shenanigans. So, yeah, shenanigans. So Jonathan, what happened here, man? So this is honestly a super crazy story. I was out wheeling with some friends. No, I'm just kidding. Honestly, uh, I was driving into my buddy's shop and it was a real windy day that day. Yeah. And for some reason, as I was driving in, uh, the fence shut on my truck. And Slam right into my side panel right here. So don't, this guy likes to pretend that he wheels really hard. He tells people, oh, look at what I did to my rig. That's not true. This guy like hits people in the parking no. lots. Uh, that is it for this uh, video. Uh, thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, David. Thank you. Really? Yeah. I was supposed to say this. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you should, yeah, okay. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, Jonathan. Thank you for having your rig here. Um, please uh, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. That's where I usually post my stuff, Overland Nomad. And uh, that is it. So see you later. Look into my eyes. You will see what you mean. Pretty much just tools of recovery here to help out when I can. I got